أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تسبح له السماوات السبع والأرض ومن فيهن وإن من شيء إلا يسبح بحمده ولكن لا تفقهون تسبيحهم إنه كان حليما غفورا وإذا قرأت القرآن جعلنا بينك وبين الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة حجابا مستورا وجعلنا على قلوبهم أكنة أن يفقهوه وفي آذانهم وقرا وإذا ذكرت ربك في القرآن وحده ولو على أدبارهم نفورا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the seven heavens and the earth and all beings therein declare his glory. There is not a thing but celebrates his praise and yet ye understand not how they declare his glory. Verily he is off forbearing, most forgiving. When thou dost recite the Quran, we put between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter a veil invisible. And we put coverings over their hearts and minds lest they should understand the Quran and deafness into their ears. When thou dost mention thy Lord and him alone in the Quran, they turn on their backs, fleeing from the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to another episode of Islam for Europeans. And um, you know, I have not made a video in quite some time. Um, I, just, I, I, I just, I feel awful. I feel absolutely awful. Like, um, uh, you know, we all see what's going on with the, with the world events and, uh, it, the, it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. It just seems to get worse with each passing night. I mean, uh, uh, every night in Gaza, uh, just they say it's like the worst night ever. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, in 2023, we can see everything, usually any world event being uploaded to the minute uh, by people recording on their iPhones. And then, you know, it could be broadcast to the entire world. But, you know, like they've, cut off all communications all food all water uh it's it's just it's it's a, it's a genocide it's an absolute massacre um it's humanitarian disaster um and um uh, you know you can get in a lot of uh, well let's not talk about that right now let we do let's pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he keeps our brothers and sisters there safe and uh and uh for those who've who've passed away uh please uh grant them the highest levels of uh, paradise and uh you know we pray that you know that this comes to an end as, as soon as humanly possible and uh you know I, I didn't i didn't make a video for the longest time because you know i just i just i just couldn't function i just i mean uh, i can't imagine like you know like i don't not directly i don't have any direct family members in that area so i mean I'm not even directly involved and you know like uh, i just um you know the, i can't imagine what everybody else who was directly affected by this uh by this ongoing conflict is uh it, how they're how they're able to function themselves i mean uh you know and the stuff we talk about on this channel is um you know like it's 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 totally different topic for you know for the longest time i thought to myself you know uh, why should it matter i mean like you know you know we have more pressing issues to talk about right now and uh you know and i i felt this you know and i think i think that's the incorrect way of looking at it um you know it's 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 the work of shaitan that he wants us to um you know this you know whatever event is taking place to to, to take us away from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh and you know to supplant oh ibadah and you know you're praying five times a day and you know like uh, any and your dua uh, you know, to let your emotions get the best of you. And, you know, for us who are not living in the Holy Land, I mean, that's not that's not the right approach at all. I mean, we should be increasing our Yibada. Like, um, like I was at this, I was at the Masjid for Duhar prayer um, uh, yesterday and there was only like maybe the Quran, you know, there was no Quran class and then there was only like 10 worshipers. And, you know, I could understand to a degree because, you know, it's, how, you know like a lot of these um families i mean they they can't function you know in, in like the diaspora uh you know and there may be other extenuating circumstances given everything that's been going on 
and you know like uh, that's it's it's sad it's unfortunate but you know you just you just have to keep uh, you have to keep moving forward and um you know the whole left-wing argument of like you know the things that we talk about on this channel you, you know though they might say that if we you know, make videos about this that it's you know quote unquote centering our, our issues and i think that's the wrong approach i think that you know our work is important i think that you know like it's it, it's not um contradictory uh, to what uh, to everything else is going on in the world, where you see you know, Muslim suffering, because you know we won't we want to be part of this ummah as a collective level. We want to be a sub community, you know, just like the the Pakistani sub community, the Syrian sub community, the Somali sub community. You know that um, that's a vibrant, functioning community with their own aesthetic uh, within Islam. Um, you know, but at the same time, yeah, you know, cares as a whole about the uh, about the about the whole ummah. And uh, you know when one part of the body is affected, then the uh, then the entire you know then the whole body gets sick. And you know really like uh, I just um, our hearts go out to to everyone being affected by this. And uh, you know may Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, ease your ease your hearts and your minds, and uh, you know like um, help you get through this uh, this terrible thing, the the terrible uh, tragedies that have been taking place, and are going to continue to take place. So, you know, like, uh, really, you know, like this, ever now more than ever, like an organization like ours, like we need to be able to function at the same time. Because, you know, like, I think what you're going to see in the next couple of months, you know, because you see hundreds of thousands of people uh, protesting all across, uh, all across um, the world, you know, including uh, uh, the Europe and uh, including Europe and all other, you know, Western countries. Um, is that you're going to see an influx, a huge influx of, of people converting to Islam. And, uh, you know, well, I think, alhamdulillah, that's going to be a, a great thing. You have a Muslim community that, you know, has, they have enough issues to deal with on their own. Um, you know, they have to deal with, you know, think, just think about all of the issues that they had to deal with before, you know, these events occurred. And, um, you know, like... Uh, they don't have the time or the money or the resources or the wherewithal to help new converts. And, you know, that's not a knock on them. I mean, that's, you know, they have other things to worry about and, uh, you know, to take in 10, 20 new converts to Islam and, you know, teach, spend the time to teach them a Dean and, and, you know, get, get acclimated to the Muslim community and deal with their non-Muslim family. Um, you know, they, it would be unfair to place all those responsibilities on them. Right. Um, and in addition, you know, you're all in addition to seeing an influx of, of converts the next coming month, you're also going to see an increase in Islamophobia, um, you know, including from our own families. And, um, you know, that's that they have enough to deal with on the ground with that as well. Um, so, you know, like, um, and for us, it's going to be, you know, like, you know, it's a different, it's a different dynamic what we have to deal with because these are our own family members. So these discussions and these debates are going on within our own family um and you know we're gonna have to be able to deal with that and to place that on a muslim community that's that's dealing with enough uh, already um it's incredibly unfair um so you know like um we need to take it upon ourselves you know this is you know the wolf pack model we've been preaching you know you know us converts like we need to band together uh you know we need to look after one another um you know, we, you know, and that's not to, you know, to separate ourselves from the greater Muslim community. Like we, like I said, you know, we want to be part of this ummah and, you know, we want to have, you know, a collective group, you know, that's strong and vibrant uh, and is able to, you know, deal with these specific challenges that we're facing. Um, but, you know, you're dealing with a Muslim community that is just, that is just so, um, it's just so strapped right now in terms of like you know, resources uh, and time and, and, you know, um, just um, mental capacity, you know, to have to deal with, with all this. I think they, you know, they, us converting to Islam, you know, like public, you know, like for them to see converts, I think that's a, a huge boost to their Iman. Um, and you know, they definitely, we definitely all need that. Um, you know, like the, you know, us for them like you know taking our shahada is like is you know like a, is is an amazing event uh but after that i think you know we need to take it upon ourselves as converts because no one's going to look out you know they're not going to muslim community is not going to have the tools 
to look out, uh, out after us, uh, especially now. I mean, um, you know, um, so, I mean, that's, that's my take on, you know, moving forward. Um, you know, it's not a zero sum game, you know, we're not centering our issues. Um, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, what's going on and you know, with the, with the ongoing, uh, massacre, like it's, you know, like it, like it's important to, to, to speak out about it and to, you know, like, um, you know, write to your members of parliament, um, do whatever you can, uh, you know, within legal, within legal avenues, uh, to, you know, to get this to, to end. I mean, just doesn't seem to be like an end in sight. And, uh, you know, we need to keep our man strong at the same time. Um, you know, like, um, it's just the least that we can do. Um, you know, whether that's praying to Hajud or just praying your five daily prayers, um, making more dua, uh, you know, uh, you know, anything that, you know, is, you know, agreed upon in the Quran and Sunnah, um, you know, and, uh, and again, like the other thing is that um, it's easy to get caught up in, ex in extremism, um, which is going to have, you know, and which I don't want to see happen either, because, you know, you're going to get a lot of these, uh, some of these converts who are just going to come to the dean, we're not going to be very well educated, and um, you know they're going to say like they're going to say statements that are contradictory to the Quran and the Sunnah, um, and it, on top of that, it's going to have an extremely result in an ex extremely bad image on the Muslim community and really bad optics. Um, you know what I'm talking about specifically is you know the, the tendency to, and I you know I'm. I never, you know, don't express these sentiments publicly, but, you know, like Shaitan plays with your mind and starts to think that it's, 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 it's basically everyone from that group uh, who are the, who are the enemy. And, you know, that's, you know, as, as, as much as there's an extremist element, um, you know, among the Bani Israel, um, you know, and the laws talked about them in, in the Quran, um, you know, that, you know, that they were going to cause corruption on the earth before and then, and then afterwards. Um, and, uh, you know, there's an ex definitely like, you know, the, the right wing in, in Israel is, you know, they've completely lost their minds. But, you know, there's also those, you know, there's also Jews in Israel proper and, you know, in the diaspora that uh, just, they can see this, that this is just, uh, it just, completely contradictory to, you know, humanity and, you know, um, contradictory to their faith as well. I mean, you know, even, you know, Ethan Klein, I mean, as, as much as I dislike Ethan Klein, like he just broke down crying, you know, seeing, you know, a Palestinian uh, holding his, his, his dead child. And, um, you know, if, if uh, it shows that they're not a monolith, I mean, there's still a minority among them that don't want this, uh, don't want this invasion. Uh, they want the ceasefire to end. Uh, there were thousands of uh, Jews who were uh, protesting at Grand Central Station in New York, uh, praying for an immediate ceasefire. Um, so you know they're 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 not a monolith. Um, you know, it's, and um, it, you know it would be unfair to say that they're all, you know, they're they all agree with what um, the, that all agree with what BB is doing when. Um, you know, like, because, uh, you know, like, we don't want the same accusations made about, uh, about, about us when it comes to, you know, what our governments are doing, uh, you know, to, to, to people in, uh, in Muslim and, uh, and non-Western countries. So, you know, like, it's important to keep that in mind. I mean, I, I try to watch, I try to stay informed, but really, like, you know, um, you have to stay informed, like, you just, you can't, you can't just completely shut off, you know, social media and, you know, just, just say, you know, like it's, uh, you know, it's too much because it is important to see. I mean, you have to, you have to see it. So, you know, you, you can't look away, you know, but you don't want to get it to a point where you're not able to function as a human being. Um, you know, it should affect you emotionally. If not, I mean, you know, you really need to check your man. Um, but you know, like the, you, you can't let it you can't let it get to you and you know let it get it to the point where you're not able to work uh or sleep uh or you know or pray your salah um you know because if you don't then you won't be able to function properly and you won't be able to you know function as a human being 
because uh, you need to keep moving forward. Uh, you know, like the the Uma needs it, so you need to think about you know what's best. You know, for the for, for the Uma, you know, when you're even just scrolling, you know, through through social media. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, that that's that's all I wanted to say. And you know, on a final note, I um, you know, like I need to take ne the necessary precautions. Um, I, I I think uh, moving forward. Um, and, you know, the stuff I talk about shouldn't be controversial. I mean, you can scroll through all my videos. There's nothing, you know, uh, illegal or extreme about what I'm saying. In fact, it's, 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 it's the opposite. Um, but uh, I think, you know, it might be a good idea for me to, to, to transition over to, to Odyssey, uh, you know, from YouTube, because you never know. I mean, like, you know, the, you know, the, you have to take necessary precautions because, you know, you need to be able to have a roof over your head. You know when you do talk about this stuff so um yeah i mean that, that's all i wanted to say so i mean like i said i i couldn't make a video for the last couple of weeks just because i just i couldn't function and it's stupid it's really you know like uh, when you have like a social media channel and you have like an influence um you know like you, you owe it you know to the to the muslim community you have a um you know you have a, an obligation you know, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to to speak about you know the issues that are affecting you know the whole the whole muslim community um and uh you know i have no excuse i, I um you know i i, I should have been i should have been you know, what should have could have i mean like it's moving forward i mean like uh it's i i can't let have that shantan you know get to me and say you know like the issues that you're talking about are not important because they certainly are because you know without a group like this or other groups i mean um that burden is going to fall upon uh, an already, um, you know, an already taxed uh, and you know emotionally spent uh, Muslim community that has a, enough issues to deal with on their own. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. Um, you know, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala um, uh, grant uh, paradise to those who, who've uh, been been killed uh, in the last couple of weeks. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Um, uh, keep everybody safe there, and uh, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, put an put extinguish, uh, you know this this uh, this uh, this genocide that that's that we're seeing right before our eyes, and uh, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala increase our man and, and give us uh, you know the strength that to keep moving forward uh, as an ummah, and may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala unite our hearts and minds upon Islam, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guide uh, our friends and our families and our communities. Uh, to his to his path um, and uh, yeah that's, that's that's all I wanted to say uh, for this video so take care uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh